Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of The Journey with Being Pay. Today, I'll be taking you through what the experts say about endometriosis. Sit back, relax. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. experts. Endometriosis affects 10% of women globally. That's one out of 10 women with symptoms typically appearing during the reproductive years. The World Health Organization defined endometriosis as a chronic inflammatory disease characterized by the presence and growth of endometrial tissues outside the uterus, where it causes pain and fertility problems. The significant symptom of endometriosis, according to the experts, is the excruciating pain, the pain that is so debilitating that comes to the menstrual period. Although it's been noted that there are women who present with endometriosis that do not have symptoms. With endometriosis, the endometrial-like tissues is found in other parts of the body, such as the ovaries, fallopian tubes, pelvic lining, or even outside the pelvis. It's been found in different parts of the body, something that is supposed to be inside the uterus but now found outside the uterus. Living with endometriosis can be very challenging. But I tell you, it doesn't only impact the physical well-being, but also impacts the mental well-being. According to a clinical psychologist, women with endometriosis experience anxiety, they experience depression, and also become frustrated due to the chronic pain, which is understandable and as well as the fact that people around them don't understand what they're going through. While the exact cause is still being studied, scientists have hypothesized so many theories, and the severity of the symptoms varies from person to person. And treatment of endometriosis focuses on individual symptoms and improving quality of life for those affected. I want to remind our viewers that endometriosis affects approximately one out of 10 women, and yet, Many women suffer in silence due to the lack of awareness and understanding. We should continue to encourage open conversations about endometriosis. By so doing, we break the stigma and normalize these discussions. We can empower women to seek help and support. Remember to pop your questions in the comment section and don't forget to like. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. I'll see you next week. It's bye for now.